the walkway collapse of a Hitler Regency Hotel. It happened on 17th of July in 1981 in Kansas City. And well, uh, here we have an old picture. You can see here there are two walkways, two lines, one over the other. And the second one is connected to the other, to the, uh, to the upper one by some hangers. Here we have on the right other details with these, uh, these white hangers. And both walkways are hanging from, from top. The, 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 the bottom one is hanging the, the top one and both from, from both. Uh, this walkways collapsed to a tea dance. There was a tea dance uh, party here with more than 1,600 uh, 1, people attending. And the, this collapse causes the deadliest the structural, was the deadliest structural collapse until the, in the USA until the dramatic of the, of the Twin Towers. Well, just analyzing uh, what happened there, uh, just uh, there was uh, we found the information that there was original design, and due to the construction difficulties, this original design was modified by this other one. In the original design, we can see there was a continuous hanger uh, line, and from that was hanging the bottom one with a total uh, force of P here, and from the from the walkway this level also P. This P is transmitted to the hunger through this, this nut, so this nut is holding P due to uh, this, the self-weight of the, of the top uh, walkway, plus this one. So the total, the total force that would uh, resist uh, the hunger is 2P here, and for the nuts it's, and the waves of this, on the flames of this part is P. But the model was modified and due to construction difficulties, instead of having a continuous one, uh, it was modified by two different ones. So the problem is that the, the bottom one is hanging from here, from this part, so this load is applied to the top a beam, instead of being continuous by the hanger. So in this part, we will have double, double stresses. Uh, so at the beginning, it looks like the, the reason of the collapse. If we analyze uh, those details in the model, we will see uh, the reasons and the loads it caused the collapse. So, well, first, uh, we will start making a beam model and we will perform a check and design uh, by code. So, we will have an idea of uh, uh, how the design was, if, if the failure was here about or any other part of the, of the model was failing. So, well, if we use the software, here we have the walkway. See here, this is the original situation with one crossing both. And what well, these are beams that form the, the, the walkway with concrete. On top we have a load here, superficial load over it due to the people that were on it and on the second uh, on bottom we have single loads that are due to the second uh, walkway on bottom. So uh, solving the model uh, we have these two loads and we have solved two load cases. The first one are these loads without uh, just a single load and the other ones are majority loads and we apply these coefficients, 1.35 and 1.5 for um, self-weight and overloads. For, uh, well, depends on the code, this, these coefficients could vary a little bit, but we are using 1.35 and 1.5, depends on the codes around that value. And then we have checked by code the model. If we solve, if we, after solving, we can plot the uh, results first, duty loads, and we are going to analyze the uh, results we have. First, let's see an example, bending moment, that is end results, and we will plot bending moments on these beams. Well, the units uh, are here newtons per meter, they can be modified to kilonewtons per meter, that is a more uh, usual 
unit, 65. And well, we have two ways of plotting. We can plot it in the thickness of the beams. So this is, uh, this is the value of, of uh, here in the center, 70, uh, 67. Uh, positive, in, in the support negative, 86, but I think it's easier to see this bending moment loads with a thin option, I'm plotting it, these are the bending moment loads, negative and positive, these are the values we have. And, uh, well, we can see we have a small peak of forces here, and, well, hopefully we should upgrade the value for a constant variation this connection and we will analyze also the CR force. The CR force that is uh, transfer, transfer CR force in y direction. Okay, we can see using also uh, kilonewtons, uh, the transfer system, we have about uh, 213 kilonewtons uh, of CR force. The CR force we see it's concentrated in this part. So what we can see we have a big shear force due to this design in those points. It's, it's a 40, 40, around 48, 48. Then next steps we have forces and moments. We can check and design this, this structure. For checking by code, here we have a, in, at the beginning we can select different codes. For the structural steel the first option is the Euro code 3, but we can uh, select also American codes, uh, Indian codes all over the world. We have a long list of, of codes, British Standard, uh, Chinese, Indian, well, we have a long list of codes we could use. We have checked it with the Euro code 3, and here we can load results. For all the results, I check in and design results, I change it, and I'm going to plot this one. The checking types can be done here, check beams, here check on design beams, check steel beams, and depends on the active code, we have different different um, uh, checking types. For the hangers, we should check for tension. For the beams, we can check for bending and sear, or bending and axial sear and force, also buckling, and well, in this case, also especially sear. After taking CR in this part of the model, these are the results we get. First, the first results we can plot is total criterion. The total criterion is the ratio between uh, the, the action and the capacity. So if this ratio shall be less than one. Well, here we can see that this ratio is less than one in all the models. So it means all the beams are verified by the Euro code. Criterion 0.7, it's the closest to one, so we can see that in this and it is in the connection between uh, the hangers and the, the beams. So what we can see, just analyzing the original design, that the weakest the quickest link of this part is are these connections. And the uh, and the, same, the, the margin is not very big, the margin is 0 point, about 0 point 20, 26. Okay, let's see what happens with the as-built configuration. What you need, it's exactly the same model, but here we can see instead of having a continuous line of hangers, they are dividing one side and the other. So in this part, we will have the biggest stresses problems. First, the first value we are plotting is uh, the uh, CR force that we saw that's the most uh, unfavorable low uh, force on the model. And now plotting, we can see that, as we suppose at the beginning, in this part, it was uh, where the most uh, concentration of loads uh, was happening, we plot in kilonewtons. We can see that now we have 478 kilonewtons. Before, before this situation we have 213. So now it's more than double the, the, the CR stress we have 
here in this part. So well, we've, we've seen just the CR concentration of the loads is, is pretty big and it has, uh, there was not a big margin. Uh, let's so well now let's we can check again by code this configuration and let's see what happened. Well we can see now we have values over one. That is the capacity is about 65%, the demand is about 64% higher than the capacity. So um, those points are located here. So we can see this value, the value here is 1.60, uh, about 65, 60, uh, and this is lower, so well. Here we can, now we can see that the weakest, weakest part of the structure, and then the, where, where the uh, damage could happen first, and the reason of the collapse should, collapse should be located there. Now for a better analysis, we should perform a detailed model. Well, here we can comp compare the results we have. Original design, just the load here, 213, total criterion less than 1, about uh, 0 0.7, and here 1.6, and well, we can see how load here is increased, and the same with the checking verification. This is an example of how to proceed with the code checking design for structural case. After the structural analysis, the code checking begins. The two configurations were checked with the original design and the as-built design, and you have seen the results. You can go further and advance with the analysis and create a more detailed model, a non-linear analysis using shell or solid elements and other non-linearities as material plasticity. For that case, you will get using a, a submodel, in this case using symmetry, you can mod, simulate the bolts and hangers including the, the box section and see the accurate behavior of what happened in this, uh, in this walkway collapse. So thank you very much, see you in the free course, stay tuned always for news and announcements and if you have any questions please open a new thread and have a look of at the forum. Thank you.